Hello guys, so this is the hyper bicycle that I was talking about in my video where I reviewed the K-May 26 inch electric bicycle. So uh, this one is very similar to that one, but it has some uh, uh, differences here. So starting that this one does not have the disc brake so this is going to be the regular braking system that you see in most bicycles um, also the uh, battery this is going to be a 7.8 amp hour battery with a 36 uh, volt it's um, a smaller battery and that's one of the things that I don't like too much about this bicycle uh, so the ride is not going to be um, too long if you are planning to ride it for a long time uh, one thing I like about this design is that the battery goes inside the frame here so it doesn't look too bulky and it looks like a regular bicycle so they give you this key and you're able to unlock it here and it comes out this way like this so here you, you have that space where you can put it so you can take it uh, inside and charger and and your bedroom uh, another thing this bicycle does not have is going to be a USB port to charge any electrical devices so this is just for the battery and here is the connector so then you can install it back inside and one more thing I, I like about this bicycle is that it can reach 20 miles per hour the K-May bicycle that I talked about uh, can only do 50 miles per hour and those five miles do really make a difference this one you can really feel it's uh, much faster and also it's more responsive with uh, the pedal assist uh, it takes about one second and it, it starts um, the motor uh, kicks in and starts helping you the k-mate bicycle um, it takes a bit longer to to start one of the disadvantages of this bicycle is that it doesn't have a, a throttle um, maybe for some people that may be an issue uh, for some others may not uh, so this is just pedal uh, assist um, which um, is, is, is not too bad either so here you have the, the controller you have the different modes you have the lowest setting here, the median, and the high, the, the fastest. So one thing I can say that I notice when I uh, put this bicycle in the fastest setting is that uh, once it reaches the 20 miles per hour, the motor stops. And it makes the bicycle go to 17 miles per hour and once it reaches the 17 miles per hour it turns on again until it gets to the 20 miles per hour and then it repeats the same the same uh, the same process and I think it does that uh, I think that's part of the controller in the electrical system of this bicycle and I think it does that because um, 
as far as I know, the, the legal limit uh, that a bicycle can go is 20 miles per hour. So it's not, um, it's maybe to prevent it from going faster. Um, and yeah, so that's the, the, the problem I noticed with that is that your ride is not going to be smooth. So you're going at 20 miles per hour and then you can feel that pause that the motor makes. So you feel that um, that uh, that that pause, and um, you have to wait until it gets to seventy miles, and then you feel um, again the motor starts working. So you feel if you're reaching the twenty miles uh, very often, so you will feel those pauses in your ride. Um, that only happens in the high setting. In the median setting, it doesn't happen because it, it doesn't reach the... I, I think it gets about 50 miles per hour. And the lowest is just um, maybe around 7 uh, or a bit more than that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's one of the things I don't like too much uh, about the bicycle. Um, the, the seat on this bicycle is just not going to be really comfortable. It's just, it's very nice. It looks very nice, but, uh, I think that all these, um, companies that make bicycle, they just want to put a seat and, um, uh, they don't spend, they don't want to spend too much money on those seats. They just... Uh, they just want to give you something to to where you can sit, but it's not going to be extremely comfortable. So I'm going to actually show you a uh, seat that I'm using uh, that I also recommend that in the video that I made of the K K May bicycle. Um, you can watch that video. Uh, that's a, a a newer model that is available on Amazon and. There's some good things about that bicycle, and there's some things that I don't like too much. Um, so this is the seat that I'm actually using. This is an old seat here, um, and it, it has seen better days. So um, the good thing about this is that you can see here it's a extra large seat, and um, it's really comfortable and it also has its own suspension here so you're going to enjoy more your ride so i really really like this brand here uh this i think this is an older model as well um but definitely i will be looking for older models if i can find from this company so uh another thing i can tell you is that I have been uh, riding it for about uh, five months and it has been a, a great uh, bicycle. Um, I have not had any issues. Um, it feels well well designed. The suspension, one thing I can say about the suspension is that it's not going to be... Um, I think there's different type of suspensions and if I put it in a scale of um I think um uh if I put put it in a scale between um uh one side being soft and then the other extreme being hard uh this may fall closer um uh, in the middle closer to the soft side and you can really feel this um, when uh, you're riding and uh, you hit a, a, a bump or um, you can really feel the the suspension working but sometimes I feel it's too soft and um, that's something that you cannot regulate here uh, like the the K-May has some uh, more control on the suspension you can lock it uh, this one does not have any uh, features 
Um, so yeah, but between this suspension and the KMA, I feel like this one, you can feel that comfort. With the KMA, it's a little bit uh, uh, f stronger, it's like more firm, and it doesn't um, provide too much comfort in your ride. And something else I can tell you here. So this one, uh, about the speed, is going to be a six speed right here. So six speed, um, and there's only one gear in the front. Uh, so the the railer is going to be also a Shimano model. And one thing I can say, and this is I think very important, if you actually um, want to use the bicycle but with no pedal assist. So one thing I can tell you is that it's, it's not going to be like a normal bicycle. It feels a little bit um, hard to, to pedal. Um, even um, I try to use uh, all the gears and um, I try to set it in the softest uh, gear and it is it, it is still feels uh, hard to pedal. I'm not really sure if it's the weight. Um, this bicycle weighs about, um, with the battery, it weighs about 51 pounds. Um, not really sure is uh, if it's that or maybe is the um, the motor in, on the back that doesn't uh, let you pedal uh, uh, like a regular bicycle. But I feel like there's some resistance. I thought it was the brakes that maybe were too tight, and um, I tried to adjust that, but I, I still felt that resistance um, in the bicycle. So if you're somebody that probably do a lot of exercise, so probably that will be fine with you to, um, to have that resistance, so it's going to help you do a better workout. Uh, but if you want uh, to use it as a regular bicycle uh, sometimes and not use the battery, uh, it's it's not it doesn't feel um, you may, may you may want to buy just a regular bicycle instead because it's it's not as as fast as I, I thought it, it was going to be. Um, so. Mostly all the time you will you will have to be using the battery and I Really didn't want to do that because I want to give the battery a break sometimes, but it's just not um, Yeah, so pretty much you have to use the battery all the time because it's just um, uh, There is this extra resistance which uh, I think is uh, from the the motor here um uh, so yeah, so those are the things that I noticed about this bicycle that I I don't like too much. I really like the speed. Um, it really feels uh, fast, and um, I really like the design as well. The placement on the battery, how it just uh, it's part of the frame, so it um, you know you can leave it uh, somewhere and. People may not think it's an electro bi electrical bicycle. So here you can see the cables, how the cables go inside the frame. So it goes through here and then they come out of this way. So this mechanism is the one that detects the movement here. Um, that um, it helps you with the pedal assist. So another thing I could say here is the, the placement of these cables here. Um, if you are somebody that wants to use it in a rough terrain, so it may it may be a little bit. Uh, uh, they are these cables are uncovered, so they may uh, get um, 
torn by something here if you don't if you're not careful here um, so yeah I don't I think that that's all I can say uh, this right here the handles I really like this better than the Ken K May uh, the K May are uh, made of a uh, strong plastic this one it's a softer more comfortable plastic also the design here you can see how it comes down here it's not like a regular uh, that it, it just covers the uh, the handle here it just um, goes down a little bit here and that gives a little bit of a uh, also extra area for you to um, place your your palm here so it gives you that extra cushion here so that makes it really comfortable I really like this this design um, so this one does not come with a with a flashlight or a horn it's just uh, more of a basic uh, electrical bicycle but I, I really like it a lot so uh, if you have any questions if I didn't answer something uh, you can let me know in the question in the, in the question section or in the comment section the tires are they look great as well they uh really well well designed and they they give you an extra comfort as well like when you're riding when you're riding you can really feel how also the um the tires are part of the um of the comfort um and the design also helps you uh, ride more easily. I I put a different tires here on this one, and they were. Uh, I felt like there was some resistance with those tires, and I don't think that was good because um, I was pro probably putting more uh, work to the motor, so that would also make the battery drain a little bit faster. So this. Bicycle, as I mentioned, I think I have seen some uh, of uh, of the newer model for this um, bicycle on on Walmart, and you can um, uh, you can find it there or some other store, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all this bicycle has here. Um, I think the leg the leg is really nice to how the way it just. Um, Falls. It has this uh, at the end. It has that um, support here, and yeah, that's all I can say about the the bicycle here. Um, the battery weighs about five uh, pounds, I think it is. Yeah. So, yep. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will try to get back to you. Take care.